my name is Debbie and if this is the first time on my channel uh, my channel is home at Serenity Springs and I'm a mama and a wife of almost 30 years and I do videos on gardening and herbs and marriage and things like that health natural health but I'm in the middle of a video series uh, wife 101 being a better wife and I've already got one video in the series um, on my channel if you want to watch that. This particular video is going to be about the silent treatment and slamming doors and temper tantrums. And as a wife of almost 30 years, I have done all of those things. I am guilty of all of those things and probably more if there's a way to mess up, make a mistake, uh, have a bad attitude, have a temper, lose my temper, I've done it. And hopefully for those wives who have ears to hear and a heart to learn can prevent or lessen those mistakes that I've made by listening to what I have to say on the subject. So I've been thinking about this and at the root of temper tantrums and the silent treatment and slamming doors, losing our temper, is selfishness and a desire to have our own way. And as women, that's just something that seems to come naturally to us and that if we want to be good wives, we have to fight against. Um, we tend to get angry if our husbands answer back to our attempt to control things or have things our way and we have to learn to a realize as christian wives which is who i'm speaking to our husbands are the head of our home and although we get to have input of course and our opinion that our husbands do get the final say or should get the final say on the things that come up especially if we can't agree if we discuss it and we can't agree our husbands are supposed to have the final say and that's not something that's popular in today's culture it's not something that wives naturally want to hear it's just something that the Spirit of God that is in you can help you come to terms with so that your home can be more peaceful but as far as tempers go that is something that I'm sure is common across the board and that probably some wives have more trouble with than others, but it is something that as a wife who wants to be a better wife, we have to address it. So what can we do instead of throwing a temper tantrum slamming a door or really worse in my opinion giving our husbands the silent treatment which is one of the highest forms of manipulation until we get our way and i've done it and i know that it can be effective because our husbands do not like us to be mad at them but as a wise wife we need to understand the level of manipulation that is in the cold shoulder and seek to avoid that at all costs so I think step one would be acknowledging that those forms of expressing our displeasure are unacceptable in a Christian marriage and seek to eradicate them from our relationship and you're going to get angry and the Bible does address that because it tells us that we're going to get angry but that God does not want us to sin while we're angry and all of the things that um, are expressions of anger in this particular video slamming doors silent treatment and um, having fits temper tantrums are definitely sin and they're things we're going to want to stop so when we're angry 
A, of course, you can pray. B, if you just can't speak to your husband calmly at that particular time, tell him that you just need some time to yourself and leave the room and calm down and then address whatever it was calmly that made you angry. But as you're calming down, examine yourself and see if the reason that you're angry is it selfish is it just because you didn't get your way is it something that's a legitimate concern or a legitimate issue that you have that is needs to be talked out and that your husband needs to respond to if it's just a selfish i didn't get my way instance i would encourage you to just pray to release the bitterness and to hold your tongue and acknowledge that in relationships it's not always going to go your way and that's okay because as a grown-up and as if you're a parent we teach our children you don't always get your way well that's true in marriage as well and although uh, there's a common perception that if mama's not happy, nobody's happy. I don't agree with that statement either. I think that we should be willing to compromise, be willing to not always get our way, and to understand that that is a good thing. And to buck against what's commonly accepted and encouraged in marriages uh, on Facebook, all over social media, the, the things that indicate that wives are in control, that we have to be happy, that that's the important thing in life, that you better treat us like a princess or else, Buster, you're in trouble. That's just, it's stupid, it's, it doesn't create peace, and there is no man that is going to want, that is going to agree with everything that you think, and is going to want you to always have your way. That's just, it's stupid and it's unreasonable and we need to change that. So, while you're calming down, while you're choosing to not slam a door, not yell, not pitch a fit, you're choosing to not give him the silent treatment, you're going to physically say, I'm too upset to talk about it right now, and you're going to withdraw yourself somewhere quiet, and you're going to think about the issue that you're having. And you can pray as you're thinking that God would give you wisdom to understand uh, your motives. To understand the whole picture. And to see if this is an instance where you need to give in and compromise. Or if this is an instance where it is legitimate and you discuss it with your husband and reach a suitable conclusion to whatever problem you're having and hormones yes we and hormones yes we have hormones yes we have bad days and if we have children they stress us sometimes to our breaking points and we take it out on our husbands but I think as wise wives, we need to not allow our physical limitations, such as a bad hormone day, or that we're on our, we're on our cycle and we're in pain, to use as an excuse to treat our husbands badly. I think that as we mature and as we strive to be godly wives that at some point we have to master our emotions and rise above them and until you get to the point where you can work through things at that time without yelling and without saying the phrases that you're not supposed to say when you're having an argument in a Christian marriage like you always you never, um, I'm going to leave you, we should just divorce, 
um, things aren't working out. All of that is baloney and that should be left out of our vocabulary. But until you can get to the point, which should be your goal to talk things out immediately, then just state, I'm leave I can't talk to you right now. I'm going to leave the room and I'll get back with you when I've calmed down. And I think that conquering our anger and our tendency to manipulate should be high up on our list of things to accomplish in our marriage because <coughs> It's destructive. There is no good fruit ever from giving in to our anger. And when we can learn to control it and we understand with wisdom that it is unfruitful, then our marriages will progress. And you will find that your marriage is more peaceful, that you're closer to your spouse, in that you are able to work through problems more effectively. Also, um, with every choice we make, every day that we live, we're contributing to our legacy. And if we have children especially, we're modeling for them, even if we don't realize it, how to be as an adult. So we want to contribute positively to the legacy and the witness that we're building for our families. And even if your husband is not doing the right thing, is not responding properly, is not behaving properly, and maybe he still does have an anger problem, you want to be the bigger person, which I also said in my last video, and do the right thing and you may have to do the right thing for a while before you see any change and there's some wives who lived out being a good wife for years with little change but there's also other wives who after a short amount of time or a little more they begin to see the positive changes that are resulting from their good choices. So the attitude that we can only be good wives, we don't have to be good wives if our husbands aren't being good husbands. That's another lie from the enemy to keep us down, to keep our marriages bad and to cause dissension in our relationships. So I'm encouraging you to be the bigger person if you have to and do the right thing. Learn to control your anger and um, respond positively when there's conflict. That's all for today's video. I thank you for joining me. I hope that something that I say can help your marriage. And I don't have a perfect marriage myself. Um, it's very good, but we can always be better on both sides of the coin. But I will always encourage you to take care of you. You can't change your husband. All you can change is yourself and your own behavior. And a lot of times our husbands will respond to that. And over time they improve as well. So until next time, thanks for joining me. And... <laughs>